Of course, technology in the courtroom is important. If there's one thing that jurors know how to do, it's watch TV. It's been a very long time since I've had a lawyer ask me whether using you know, computer monitors and PowerPoint was too slick. Slick is not what you need to be concerned about. Jurors don't understand. They don't know how much all of this stuff costs. They don't know what it costs to make graphics and to have a trial technician there and to load all the documents into trial director. What they do know is that if you're digging around in a box, taking up a bunch of time, trying to find some document that you want to put up, they know you're taking up their time. So the, the key to technology is not only the fact that jurors need to be able to see uh, what you're talking about. They'd like pictures with their stories, uh, certainly with documents and things like that. Also, to the extent that you can use uh, creative graphics. And when I say creative graphics, I don't mean bullet points on a PowerPoint. What I mean is if you're trying to convey an abstract concept that's challenging, go get a very uh, experienced graphics consultant who does litigation work and considers themselves a trial consultant, a visual storyteller, and get them to help you make the, the demonstratives that you need. Very often in a trial, the demonstratives I'm describing is just a handful of them. But sometimes they can be outcome determinative in terms of whether or not the jury is going to understand the uh, difficult, abstract information that you're trying to convey. I think using different modalities in the courtroom is very important. Um, to the extent that you feel that you can uh, uh, get down, you know, get up there and write on a flip chart, that's useful because it gets you closer to the jury. It's motion in the courtroom. Those things keep them interested. Obviously, documents and things coming up on the screen and using trial director to zoom in and highlight uh, is very useful. Very often, boards are useful. If you've got a timeline or some other piece of uh, demonstrative information that you want to put in front of the jury and you want to have that you want them to, you want to be able to just sort of leave it up, lean it against your table, and then the jurors always have it there to refer to. Plus, using all those different modalities allows the jurors to sort of stay interested, stay awake, and keep tracking your case. You've got to have a, an experienced uh, trial technician in the courtroom running all of this. This person is absolutely key, not only from, you know, it, what's amazing to me is, you know, this person can make friends with the court staff. You know, they learn all kinds of interesting things that you need to know. They often make friends with the bailiff. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's good to have your side, if possible, managing the technology in the courtroom because they also have interactions with the court and those things can be very positive. Clearly, you want to have somebody who's quick, can get things up on the screen quickly, knows where you're going, can follow your lead, and uh, that's, uh, that can oftentimes be a very difficult person to find. It is important that technology not be intrusive. It's, it's meant to be helpful. It's meant to be there to aid. Um, I, technology can't, uh, the technology itself, if you have the right person managing everything, will not be intrusive. But there's one thing I would warn against, and that is those darn bullet points on a PowerPoint. There's just nothing more distracting. All it's doing is, is helping the lawyer keep his place in what he's trying to say. And it really provides no benefit to the jurors. Uh, reading what you're saying is, is not helpful. What they need is truly demonstratives. Look at this document. Look at this person signed it here. Look at this creative graphic that shows the, the flow of this information or, or whatever it is. Those are the things that you want to put up on the screen. And, so, and those are things all to keep in mind when you're thinking about technology in the courtroom.